an anvil, the spoils of my labor. Hello everyone, I've just done some renovations, as you can see. Beautiful sunset upon the wax of my labor. I've officially got two extra villages, I got them with my potato stash. Meet Fred and Bread, my two compadres. We should be easy to get from the village garden and... Hold on a second. I seem to recall this person having potatoes. There we go. We have Fred and Bread, the two brothers. I love them into the world thanks to us. You know what? I'm simply going to ignore it. I am not paying attention to it. Today is my day. We have a fish. We have built Diablo Diamond a fresh shrine, honorable of its eminence and glory. I've got some stuff in the chest. Sadly, most of it I've kept in the old bunker. I'm keeping it just in case that hooligan comes around. I don't think he's that well company. Quite it down. Anyway, I don't think he's that kind of company. So naturally, I'm keeping my wax up and I'm keeping my guard. Anyway, this is my new potato farm. I've decided that growing stuff underground is troubling, to say the least. And so I've moved it up here. Uh, as I said, that'll be a bunker in, for in case things go south. And that means death, if you couldn't tell. The, the, the barrier, you know what I mean. Uh, I've managed to get quite a good stable amount of coal. And things are going well, actually. Uh, I actually got this storage of potatoes. Uh, just so that I could sell them all to bread. And I know he doesn't... Uh, Fred, or whatever. Uh -huh. Can't even remember his name. Uh -huh. So we should gain quite a chunk uh -huh. of experience off of this. I'll leave you to your works. So, yeah. Things are going well. What are you holding out? Uh -huh. Bread, you've been fired. Fred is a better name and he is cooler trade. You know what? I'll just, just sell to both of them. If one of them stops buying, I'll just buy to the other. That's business. And you have pumpkins. That is worthless. Add that to the stock. Bit more potatoes. I know it might seem I've gotten quite a bit of potatoes since last recording, but a lot more of them have been put into my farm. Uh, 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 oh, wow. Uh, uh, and you've stopped selling, which is exactly why I have two of these folks. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you considerably. Thank you, and you're out. That's both of our traders down. We still have a full row of potatoes. Apparently, buying, like, a crap ton of potatoes isn't that good for the economy. Who knew? So, yes, our shop is doing quite dandy fine delicious, as some might say. I've even got these fashionable, marvelous emerald blocks. There's three of them. Take me four if you count the shrine. But I count three. My bed is an ice cream like the money I have. Things are looking up, my friends. Things are looking up. Literally, I'm looking up. That tree still hasn't withered away, surprisingly. It's been like that since, like, day one, I'm pretty sure. Anyway. A new day is vast approaching. And I think it's time we did something. Some that's something being money. So we are going to start another farm. 
Yes, another one. Apparently, Fred has wheat. So, naturally, I'm going to farm that. Oh, and beetroots. What are beetroots used for anyway? Red dye? Are they just red dye but worse? That's what it seems like. Stupid, pathetic red dye. I can just use roses! Roses are far better than stupid radishes. But yes, I will be borrowing some wheat from the public, which I know it might seem like uh, stealing, but do not worry. First of all, I've taken up residence, henceforth this is public property and henceforth my property. And second of all, I don't have a second reason, it's actually the first reason. But inverted and then folded. Times New Roman. However, anyway, let's just cut to the chase. Why are you three all together in a pen? You know what? I do not want to know what you do in your spare time. Just keep it to the beds, keep the pig out of it, and just just go away. Bread and bread are better traders than you in every way, shape, and form. Just want to point that out. But as I said, this is public property, so henceforth, this is not a ceiling. This is simply what I paid my taxes for, which I definitely paid. I've also got these trap doors, so they won't bother me. I found that quite an issue when I first built the place. So, essentially, our plan is build the ladder higher, get some dirt, I'm pretty sure that there's still some dirt in the bunker, and prop it, essentially. Let's put this in here. Actually, what profit can we make off this? Right? Nice. You've marked up the price, you splendid devil. Ugh, these guys are good at trading. I hate them already. So, yeah, that's a plan. Uh, as I said, I'm pretty sure we still have some dirt in the old bunker. We're going to need. 2, We need 81, which is uh, one third stacks of dirt. Which, yes, I'm pretty sure I still do have in the house. Finally able to use this pickaxe too. Still mines at the same speed. Well, this is definitely odd. Considering Ooh, they've grown quite nice. But I will have to take these. That The taxes of potato farmers. You see, we when we when I was a wee lad, we had a potato farm. It was quite the lucrative business, I might say. Before I turned to religion, I worked there, and honestly, the amount of poisonous potatoes we got was uh, frankly it was absurd. Some potatoes in here too, and some emeralds. Wow, it's amazing what you can find in all the abandoned places. That's why I mostly go in there when I need money. Okay, so plundering this place has gotten us quite a profit. So that's good. Uh, just to keep up with the aesthetic of the temple, we will have to. How you say, smelt it. I said, wait, no, we just have to craft it into four, I'm pretty sure. Nope. We need stone. Oh, good. I am planning on getting some better fuel in the future. It's just there's no kelp nearby, so I can't make a kelp farm. 
and I can't think of any other resource which is plentifully available. I'll save that for the last resort. Deforestation is like the rich people of the world. They're exempt from poisonous potatoes and no one likes them about it. Shulker box from my old grand, didn't you know? Me and her were quite close. We spent quite a while on the potato farm. Yeah, there's my other days. Anyway. So. Uh, these seeds were eight, so. That should be eight. And. I'm not really sure I need anything else right now. I don't think I can stone cut these into the stone bricks. I'll have to check in the morning though. Because it's time for bed. Good night, world. Ah, good morning, world. Yes, finally! What is oh, that? Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Coffee music oh, thing. I've made it. <laughs> what does that start? Oh, no, 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 Oh, God. Uh, stupid creeper. Hello. How are you? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yep, I stay away there. There's a creeper Quite here. Enough. And that bushy enough. ball of leaves isn't that sellable. Whoopsie. <laughs> and what? different. And what do you want? you done an upgrade or something? What's happening over here? Let's see, shall we? Ah! Oh, well, isn't it? Oh, God, I've got the skin of a peasant. I'll have to burn that later. Oh, God, I accidentally put it on the right. Hey! How interesting. Anyway, Get your sneaky claws do? off my savior, you bitch! No idea what you're talking about there, Tom. Get out! Okay, you want a tussle? I want a tussle! Come on, then! I thought you were... <laughs> I thought you were one of peace. Maybe, but I've called in a couple more unsavory favors and I'm feeling a little magic at the moment. <laughs> yes, I've researched about that. They aren't normal. You don't say. Is that why you're not calling on any of them? Where's your god now? He's given me some fresh drip. Look at these sneakers. I was if I wasn't in you. peasant clothes, I'd bet you'd be bowing. <laughs> Please, I was able to get that in a cave. You're not that special. In a cave like a dirty coal miner. Say all you want, I am on holding sword. Listen, what the hell do you want? Oh, I'm just here to annoy you. Is it working? I see. Well, yeah, great like job! You've done a fantastic job of it! Now kindly piss off! Okay, I'm gonna go kill a couple of your villagers. Uh, I'm just kidding. Bye! Hmm. It is tempting to find out. Sorry, one moment. It is tempting to find out whether. Hold on. It is tempting to find out where the sleaze bag does his operations. And I am in peasant's clothes. So, I don't have to get my rich boy clothes dirty. I suppose I could just follow him. That would work. Hmm. In the jungle, like a dirty plebeian, I'd assume. Where is he going? God, it's like he doesn't even know where his own house is. <sighs> Jesus. If I'd bet my very badger tail on something, I'd bet that for it. I'm not sure where I said fiery badger, that just kind of slipped out. Let that prick go! Slip away! Damn it! No! I 
again, I am in pe uh, peasant's clothing. I couldn't have to do some light adventuring. temple is really likely jungle is filled with all kinds of repulsive creatures I went there with my gran once she didn't make it back well maybe he's a beach goer maybe he likes spending his time getting sand everywhere Sand is... I can't think of an analogy for sand, but it's bad. It gets everywhere. Your toes, your face, in your eyes. What is that? What, what, what is that? Okay, shut up! Sh sh shut off the Playboy music. We have something interesting here. A temple. What is that? A chocolate biscuit? Oh god, it's getting dark. I need to get back before the weird bush monsters start attacking. I'd, I'd be caught dead before I spend time in that idiot present house! Stupid house! Fucking house! What is this thing even meant to be anyway? Look at this, a pitiful, pitiful farm. He only has wheat! Bah! Doesn't know the pure glory of potatoes. It's almost as pure as that of my lord. What is this? What is this? He worships it like it's his idol. Is this his idol? Wait! No, 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 this is all wrong! Hold on, what? No, 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 this thing is not an idol! It is not even sentient! Where did this person get the idea that this is an idol? For those who don't know, there's a couple things which quantifies as an idol, one of which is a mineral. Something like amethyst. Or diamonds, in my case. Hell, even a book in some cases it's allowed. I've even once seen someone have an idol as... It's the, a peanut butter sandwich. And I said, what? How? And then he said, I don't know. All I did was smear some ruby dust in there. And then I realized his idol was a ruby. But no. It's not in that. It's not animate. It's not a gem. It's barely even special in any way. What? God, look, I'm going to encase myself somewhere. Maybe at the top of the tree. I heard that zombies can't climb. Luckily, I can. It's a skill I learned from my grandma. We went to camp very often in the woods. I'm going to stay here for the night. Look in the moon. What the hell is going on with this person? Again! I will map to make you pay for this. Hello? I'm going to pretend like I didn't just see that. Hey! Get back here! No, I'm good, thank you, actually. Oh, that was a really good vine swing. I'm rusty and I still nailed that. Let's go. Hang on, I healed somewhere when I was on my. Ah, there it is. Where's he going? Oh, I. My shield. I dropped it. There we go. Where's my. Ah, there we go. Oh, I wanted to ask you about your idol. Uh -huh. It's bizarre. Ah, there we are. Idols. <laughs> Can only be gems. That's not true. Where My did you Where did gem. you find this cookie? 
Um, well, I woke up one morning in the middle of the forest, very mm -hmm. tired, very injured, and found the cookie. I see. And, uh, you didn't happen to see anything alongside the cookie? No. Quite really? Like He's an idol. He's an idol. I'm his first follower. Mm-hmm. And this cookie doesn't have anything special about it, no? Don't be ridiculous! It's an idol, of course it's special! It doesn't have a consciousness. Yes, it does. I've spoken to it on multiple occasions. Are you sure you're not just schizophrenic? Positive. If you couldn't tell, I'm making a face of... Are you sure about that? You only have eyes, so I wouldn't know. Fair point. Unlike me, I have... Six faces, I'm aware. Eight eyes. No. No, I have... I have nine eyes, because of the one on the top of my head. I said faces. I have my eye on you. Look, your idol is bizarre, to say the absolute least. <laughs> no clue what you're talking about. For example, I met my diamond physically me, 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 floating me, me, me. in the air. Me, and your cookie was just laying there? It's all about me, me, me with you. Yes, it was just lying there. And now he has a and now he has a temple. What of it? Stay away. First of all, the temple's bland. Second of all We'll blame the ancient people who build it. Who built it? Their idea. No, I'm, I'm not talking it. about the actual temple, the little wooden shrine on top of it. Don't you touch me. Come on, then. Come on, then. You're going to insult my idol. Sorry, idol. I apologize. I deeply apologize. I did not mean to have such a... <laughs> you dare fight me as an idol for peace next yes. to the idol for peace. Well, no, I'm, I'm not an idol. He's an idol. I know. I'm you are doing it within... Apparent eye shot, ear shot, hearing shot, magic shot of your idol. Correct. It was merely an outburst. Your I'm idol fine. is peace. Correct. It was merely You an are outburst. within hearing and seeing range of the idol. Correct. And you are physically striking me with a sword. Not anymore, I'm not. You... Why do you even have a sword? Do you have an idol for peace? Oh, do you have an idol for peace? What are you talking about? I don't have a sword. All I'm starting to question your ideas that you don't have schizophrenia. I don't have schizophrenia. Look! Where are my signs? There are my signs. No. Idol. Are you, in fact, an idol? Um, you just wrote that. Yes, that's how idols communicate. You look at a sign and they write on it. That's how you communicate with yours, is it not? No. He writes on it. Yeah, I also, yeah, he wrote on it too, using my body. No, you wrote on that. Yeah, he wrote using my body. He always does. Idols don't take control of bodies. Are you certain that this isn't just some demon? Correct. You know, I'm not even angry anymore. I'm just concerned. Demons are violent. Don't be ridiculous. This isn't a demon. Demons don't... I'm starting to question your thoughts on all mythology nowadays. Demons like violence. My idol does not like violence. What is so confusing about this? Demons don't always have something to do with violence. They have something to do with sins. This one apparently has something to do with pride. Where did you get pride from any of this? You're currently boasting about it. Yes, that's me, not him. I am impure. My idol is not. Idols are pure essence of whatever they are idols. Sometimes two things, but mostly just one. You know, surprisingly, that's right. Yes, 
I know my idol. He told me all about this. And yet you deny that all idols have to be gems or gem based. Yeah, because they don't, clearly. This is the one exception. I have read hundreds of them. Have you ever well, heard of Kanatra? Who? Kanatra. Amethyst. Xenonorth. Redstone. Technically a gem. Diablo. Diamond. Yours, the well. first foods or non-gem related one in literal eons. Literal eons. But there was one a couple eons ago, correct? A.K.A. Lucifer. That's a demon. Don't be ridiculous. Demons can also technically be idols. Lucifer just had his cult a little further on the line. A cult which is surprisingly wholesome. Whatever. I'm going to mine. Goodbye. Actually, I need my torches. And I don't have torches. Oh, and well. That's that's shame. I'll leave you and your false idol alone. He's going to screw off. That was... Concerning. Too concerning. You know what? I, th I think I should leave him alone for a while. Like I said, my grandma was killed in the jungle. And I'm assuming that this poor sap's gonna be the next one to be claimed by it. Well, that was. Quite jarring. As I said, I'm concerned for the boy. He's getting off on the wrong track. That quote unquote idol is gonna be the end of him, I swear. Speaking of end, I got some cacao. I want to do some research. God, thought I had more. Whatever. Uh, I guess I'll just put the other oh, jungle looks in there. Uh, there we go. So, let's get some of that. I'm going to cook myself some potatoes. <laughs> what I was concerned is exactly what it would sound like back there. In my experience and extensive research, idols can only be gem based. That includes books, enchanted books, specifically spell books or enchanted books. As I said, there was the peanut butter incident. And really the last, uh, I guess, quote unquote, idol to be, well, exist, is Lucifer, the devil, who technically isn't an idol, but judging by uh, the what counts as an idol, he counts, I suppose. So, he's counted as such. But it's concerning for the state of this economy, whatever. Okay, so... As I said... Let's put this back. We just need... A that's one, one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, damn it. What up? Potatoes, not the best resource, but they'll do.
kill all this guts in my crafting table. Hold up. Gotta put a crafting table in there. Let's go. I always loved the rain. When I was a child, I used to sit inside and watch the rain full on look past the farm window. Such peace, such wonder. Water is one of the most marvelous things this world has ever gotten. I'd say it could possibly be potatoes. Potatoes by this goddamn wealth giving. I'd probably say uh, rain would be my favorite thing in the world. Uh, oh. uh, I'd probably get myself uh, a rain uh, idol. Uh, 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 of course, now I am committed to his Lord Diablo Diamond, but... If I was given a choice between just a completely different title and... Well, an idol of the rain. I think an idol of the rain would be better. Simple fact. Flowing water is a majestic thing, which most people take for granted. It's just my eye. And now you're selling the spawn. Fucking cookies. Uh -huh. Actually, you know what? I have a plan for something marvelous sometime in the future. It's going to require lava, perhaps a flint seal, most likely the nether, and a crap ton of cookies. Perhaps I haven't officially displayed how war is displayed between idols. One cannot simply declare war, no. That it's just wrong. What they do is they take lots, and I mean lots, of a specific idol's self, and they'd burn it at the stake. And I don't mean any baby boy fires, no, I mean a real bonfire. They dance the night away around it, wearing magical amulets, which protected them from the idol's wrath. Meaning the idols would have to send their own forces towards them to face. I'm not planning on wearing an idol, or a medallion. An idol is different entirely. I'm not planning on wearing one, mostly because I plan declaring war on the idol itself. That boy, he isn't right, but he isn't wrong either. Not sure if that makes sense. But essentially, what I'm getting at. Right, I need potatoes. Is that I feel worried for the poor boy. He's getting self dragged into something dangerous. And if there's one thing I dislike, it's danger. Danger is bad for business. Because the businessman quite often doesn't make it do it. You know, I used to be a poet. I used to be a lot of things before I became a priest. I was obviously a potato farmer. I then became a poet, writing about potatoes. I couldn't rhyme a lot with potato. There was Despacito and really nothing else, so. Then I went to the history of potatoes. Turns out not a lot of people like Ireland. Yeah. 
They either like the UK for its fancy navy, or they like his big brother Canada. Because why not? They say A obnoxiously and play hockey. It's better than American football, I'd say. But it's no potato football. I used to p play potato football with my gran before she passed. We take a potato <coughs> and we put it in a shoe that should be passed around until the potato is smashed. Then we'd pass the shoe and they'd have to run to the kitchen to replace the potato. One would run after them and if the potato wasn't placed in the shoe then, well, the person would win. Then the cycle would repeat until all the potatoes were gone. Then we ate mashed potatoes. It's my favourite dish. Find me of her. <sighs> it also goes well with the ribs. Have any of you ever tried potato mashed potato and ribs? The perfect dismatch in consistency between crunchy and smooth, it brings a tear to my eye, and a smile to my stomach. <sighs> Those were the days. But he's done. I never was good with checking cacao. Okay, it is. If I want to plant more, I'll have to get some more jungle wood. Luckily, that won't be a problem. I also need some sugar cane, or else I'll have to send my emeralds on stupid potato accessories. One sec, it's still out of stock. It's outrageous. Well, everyone. I think that should be it for now. We've learned quite a bit in this episode. Do not worry, however, I'll try to get my fancy outfit back for the next episode. Hope you all have a wonderful day. Keep smiling, because you make more business with it. See you all tomorrow. Goodbye, everyone. Good night, Fred. Good night, Fred. Ah, this is the dream.